Hi everyone, my name is Frank uh, and I've been paragliding since uh, April 2019 and on August 18, 2020 um, I went paragliding in the Chartreuse mountain range and I wanted to tell you about it because uh, uh, to date this has been my longest flight. I stayed seven hours up in the air. It was a magical and beautiful flight. It all started with a hike from uh, Limbin to reach the uh, Saint-Hilaire South takeoff and uh, I met with a bunch of people from uh, the Duck Flying Association. Around 11.45 the first wings reached the north hang gliding takeoff and we decided it's time to take flight. As usual we go south, nothing too original there, and I reached cloud base at about 1400 meters at Chateau Nardon after flying along the south bridges. I jumped to the saint Bernard cliffs and we gently fly south along the east ridges. Reaching the saint Bernard fort, some choose to go further south uh, to La Roche and La Bastille and I choose to wait and I indulge myself into a guilty pleasure visiting the Ecoutou Ridge. It's very, very pretty. It's a small horseshoe shaped tiny mountain that's really cute and really nice and a true trampoline. But Chamchaud and uh, the Pina are still under the clouds. So we transit back to the east facing saint Bernard cliffs and we start our northern migration. We reach uh, the Manival and I quickly go to Cloud Base again uh, and I hop to the southern pillar of the Don Col where we can gain some altitude. I bunny hop several times to get there but uh, you get the drill. Um, cloud base is still pretty low as you can see and the ceiling has soared only very little since the beginning of the flight. It's uh, roughly around 1600 meters but everything is under heavy shadows. It's uh, a real desert crossing at the very foot of the cliffs. No thermals um, so every time we catch something we try to climb. But it's really a gorgeous place. I had never flown these uh, upper cliffs and there are amazing spots along the rocky face with lots of holes, arches, a true delight for the eyes. I'll let you have a look. I finally reached the top of the cliffs but it's still rather uncomfortable as I'm constantly going up and down along the edge of the cliff. So I gently fly to Le Granier. Small variation uh, to switch to the uh, waist face. It's already 2.30 in the afternoon and uh, we go through the Col de l'Alpette. I glide up Le Granier and go straight to the Mont Joigny and its ridge. Um, I find a small thermal there that helps me climb to cloud base at 2100 meters. I glide to Le Corbolet and the Outran, but I have to sneak myself in between the Corbolet and the Outran. I regain some altitude there twice, but not enough to try the Mongrel or uh, Crucifical transition. We therefore decide to go south, to go to Egbolet through the Mont Beauvoir. Without finding anything really compelling, I glide to the southeast ridge of the Mont Beauvoir. I'm leaving the Outran at uh, 1700 meters and that's not really the most comfortable as you can see. Anytime I find a thermal, I'm trying to climb it, I'm really finding a good one. And even if it's pushing me towards the southeast, it's letting me climb to 1570 meters. So pushing my speed bar, I can finally go around the Mont Beauvoir and once on the ridge, it's game over. I go from the Mont Beauvoir to the Egbolet landing through the Mont Grel. There I make a small strategic mistake. I'm only going to the Egbolet landing, whereas I know that reached by heart. And it's all the more shame that I hear Gontran say he was at 2200 meters at the Dent du Chat. Too bad, it will be for next time. But that's the reason why I only got to 87 kilometers during that fight, where I could have easily flown over 100 kilometers. And that's all the more a uh, shame that I waited for Gontran on the way back at the Montgrel. So we're exiting the Mont Beauvoir through the south and the wind pushes us south, so finally a bit of luck there. And we plod along the cliffs until we find a good thermal allowing us to transit under the Grand Son, uh, right above the monastery uh, of Saint-Pierre de Chartreuse. 
For me, this is really uh, one of the highlights of this flight. Uh, this part is truly magnificent. Um, it's a shame that I couldn't shoot it with my 360 camera. Uh, we then glide to La Sia. The ceiling has finally climbed to 2400 meters, so uh, there's no need to fly south to La Col. We can go directly above the Piton de Belfond, and I tried to go to the Belden mountain range, but everything is quiet there. I don't even get a single beep, so I decided to turn back and go land in Lambin to finish my flight with a wonderful final glide of the valley. I let you listen to my reaction after landing that uh, seven hour flight. That's uh, a new personal best with uh, two biscuits and uh, half a liter of water. That was truly an amazing flight. When your teeth I hope you enjoyed that movie and it helped you discover the, uh, the Chateau's mountain range. Don't hesitate to subscribe, comment, uh, like the video. It helps me, uh, it gives me motivation to uh, create new ones for you guys. Uh, see you around for the next fight. Cheers.